In today's video, I've got an Asus TUF running a Ryzen 7 3750, and it's also combined with a GTX 1650 4GB model. And the test that I'll be doing in this one will be upgrading it from a single 8GB stick of DDR4 to dual channel 16GB sticks of 2666 RAM. The, the game that I'll be testing with this one will be Rainbow Six Siege just running the stock benchmark program with not really any twists to it or twists or tweaks. So to begin with I'll just quickly go through the various settings that are enabled on this machine. As you can see there's a slight mixture of settings so sorry it doesn't exactly help with people just set, sticking everything to low. But anyway, from here, let's run the benchmark on the single stick of DDR4 8GB 2666. For the sake of having a shorter video, I will fast forward this. And now with the test finish, I'll just freeze frame and zoom in a bit on the results here. As we can see, the minimum frame rate overall was 63.5 with an average of 115. So now I'll just install some more RAM into this and rerun this test and then I'll compare the results at the end. And now here's one I've prepared earlier. I've already removed the screws out of this and I will be installing another 8 gig stick of 2666 into here. Now just as a quick comparison, the speed rating on both of these is the same the cast is still the same, so very much a good pair to go together. So now with that installed, I'll rerun the benchmark. Graphic settings are going to remain the same. And just after this I will be con comparing the results. So now that we've finished doing the tests, let's compare the, the results here. So comparing the minimum overall, 76.5 FPS with an average of 129.6. If we compare that to the results we already had, overall minimum was 63.5 and an average of 115.5. So pretty much it seems to be a nice boost in performance of up to around 10 to potentially as high as 20%. Granted this will change depending on what games you're playing, but for a bit, of a, bit more of a performance increase out of your existing laptop, it's definitely worthwhile to go down the path of dual channel compared to single channel memory. So overall, I'll leave it here and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.